o h i Then around the city and the commune in Belgium, in the province East Flanders. It is located at confluence of the Dander River with Scheldt. The commune of Dendermonde. The commune in Belgium, the lowest administrative unit, consists of actually city of Dendermonde. Dendermonde Stad. And the settlements of Apples, s i n t k i l i s Bay Dendermonde, k r e m b e r g e n Busrode, m e s p e l a i r Odeham, and Sconard. The general population of the commune makes 42955 inhabitants, the area minus 55.67 square. Game. Emergence of the coat of arms of Dendermonde belongs to the 13th century. The modern option of the coat of arms was approved on June 13, 1989. The board of the coat of arms has silver collar. Through the center of a board, there passes the horizontal red strip. Over a board, the city crown of gold collar is located. On each side, the board is supported by two figures of lions of gold collar. The flag is based on the drawing of a board of the coat of arms of Dendermonde and consists of three horizontal strips white, red, and again white. On the status, the red strip has one slash four part of width of a flag in width. However, in practice, the flag with Ravno Shuriki strips, which thus externally corresponds to a historical flag of Republic of Belarus, is used. Unlike the coat of arms and a flag, the anthem of Dendermonde has no official status. The melody of the anthem is daily executed by a town hall carillon. Also, the anthem is executed during the city holiday r o s by our d a m a g a n g The anthem was written by the poet Prudence van d i j e s in the 19th century. In the anthem, it is sung about a game giant of Bayard d u s the main hero of an ancient Dendermonde legend. Also in the anthem, it is mentioned rivalry between Dendermonde and the neighboring city of Alst. The official logo of the city is used since January 1998. A green quarter of a circle symbolizes proximity of the city to the nature, blue line, location of the city at water. The general silhouette reminds about b i r e d u s and four knights sitting on it. Many various versions of the name of the city occur in ancient documents. t e n e r m u n d 1088, the first mention of the settlement. t e n e r m u n d 1095. t e n e r m u n d 1127. t e n e r m u n d a 1130. Tenermont, 1215. Dendermonde, 1232. Since 14th century, the Dermonde or Dendermont forms are used. The first root indicates the name of the river. A modern form, Dender, and comes from the Celtic word Tenara meaning rough. The second root corresponds to the Anglo Saxon mood, m u d e r m a i designating the mouth of the river or merge of two rivers. Thus, the name of the city means Dander's Mouth. Exact date of emergence of Dendermonde is unknown. r e i n e t i Bold. r e i n e t i Decal, 1034 1067. Was the first Mr. of Dendermonde. In 1233, the settlement acquired the city rights. At this time, the city was surrounded with a stone wall. It was possible to get to the city through some of Forgate. 
if necessary passage of the vessels through dander could be blocked by an iron chain. In the borders noted by the defensive works constructed in the middle of the 13th century, the city existed until the end of the 19th century. In 1347 the last Mr. of Dendermonde sold the rights for the city to the King of France who, in turn, gave their column to Flanders. After that in the city works on strengthening of fortification constructions, however in 1380 were carried out, during civil strife, the city was taken and plundered by team from Ghent. In 1384 the city began to belong to Bragonsky Dukes. In the 14th century the city became the important commerce and industry center. Production of cloth was the basis of the economy of the city. Between 1337 and 1350 trade cloth ranks were erected on the main square of the city. Later, 1377-1378 to then the Tower of City Council was attached. Still later Claw Franks became a city town hall. In 1397 the city acquired the right of times a year to organize a fair. During the Eighty Year War in 1572, the city was occupied by the Spanish troops. In several years of Dendermonde passed to insurgents. In 1584 Alexander Fornese, the Duke of Parma got the city. In the next years reconstruction of defensive works of the city was carried out, at the same time the system of locks by means of which the polder surrounding the city could be flooded was built. Depth of flooding was about 1.3 meters. Thanks to the system in 1667 Dendermonde was and succeeded to occupy Louis XIV's armies. According to a historical joke, about it the king's son told, the damned city if only I had an army of ducks to capture you. Throughout the 17th century of Dendermonde several times I fell a victim of wars. In 1706 the city protected by the Spanish garrison underwent cruel firing from the English army. In 1745 the city was occupied again, this time army of the French King Louis XV. In 1773 in Dendermonde the first appeared modern. That is being a product of industrial revolution. Production Paper Mill Since the end of the 18th century in Dendrum noted the textile industry which remained fundamentals of local economy up to the first half of the 20th century began to develop violently. In 1800 in Dendrum owned the district court which is here and until now was placed. The same year the Royal Academy of Fine Arts in which the Dendermonde School of Painting arose and developed began to work. After Napoleon's fall in since 1816, the Netherlands authorities. Dendermonde then was a part of the United Netherlands. Carried out large-scale works on reconstruction of defensive constructions of the city. Shaft and ditches were built, casemates, arsenals and barracks are built. Many of these constructions remain still. At the same time in the 19th century the city economy began to develop quickly that was promoted by improvement of a transport situation. Dendermonde became one of the first cities of present Belgium which got access to a railway system. 1837 In the second half of the 19th century also works on modernization of river port were carried up. 
In 1878, the Lock at Denders confluence with Scheldt was constructed. These sites in the 19th century of Tendermond became the cultural center. There was a public library, music school, city archive, the Museum of Old Times and also the developed network of elementary and high schools. By the beginning of the 20th century growth and development of Dendermonde were significantly complicated by the defensive works surrounding the city. City gate were the place of constant jams, however because Dendermonde had the status of the fortified city, it was impossible to lay new entrance ways or to expand existing. Besides the city was surrounded with the lands belonging to army that made impossible his growth. Only on April 20, 1906 Dendermonde officially stopped being the fortified city. On a twist of fate, in 1914 Dendermonde was necessary to become the place of fights. Within a month the Belgian army constrained the coming German army here. During this time the city very strongly was damaged. 1200 houses were completely destroyed, 900 houses were seriously damaged. The town hall. The former cloth ranks. Burned down, and together with it also the city archive, poorly studied researchers burned down. Thus, World War I, the reason that is known of the early history Dendermonde a little. After World War I the city was restored, however ambitious plans for expansion and reconstruction of the city weren't carried out in connection with the world economic crisis. A Great Depression During World War II the city was practically not damaged. After World War II in Belgium the program of integration of communes was carried out. In 1972 the structure of the commune of Dendermonde included the settlements of St. Gilles Bay Dendermond. At the time minus 10576 inhabitants. And Naples. 3262 inhabitants. At the same time the population of the city of Dendermonde made 9635 inhabitants that year. In 1977 the settlements of Grembergen, at the time minus 6161 inhabitants, Bush Road, 5935 inhabitants, Mespelaire, 528 inhabitants, Aldeham, 4036 inhabitants, and Sconard, 2337 inhabitants also were a part of the commune of Dendermonde. Thus the general population of new administrative education made inhabitants. At the beginning of the 21st century the program of reconstruction of the central part of the city began to be carried out to Dendermonde. Her parts are Reconstruction of the main square of the city, Grote marked. Letters Large Market Reconstruction was completed by 2004 Construction of New Library Began summer of 2006 Reconstruction of the Region of Old Dander Began summer of 2006 In the 70s to 20th century the new, artificial mouth of Dander located outside the city was created. The old Dander proceeding through the downtown was cut off from Shelt and the new mouth of Dander and became, thus, Memmid Storica. The rebuilding plan provides. Old Dander's connection with new Dander and mooring equipment for yachts. Full reconstruction. Actually, construction and new 
bridges through old thunder. Complex a classing of the territory adjacent to old thunder. It is interesting that archaeological excavations were the first stage of each part of the plan of reconstruction. At the beginning of 2009, Dendermond unexpectedly came under the spotlight of world media because of the tragedy which happened there connected with attack on local kindergarten. The commune is located at Danders confluence with Scheldt, in the east of the province East Flanders. The area of the commune minus 55, 67 square, came. The commune consists of actually city, a city kernel, and seven settlements which actually form uniform agglomeration. Geographical coordinates minus 51 N and 04 AL. Except actually city of Dendermond, commune, colonel, seven settlements which were independent communes earlier are its part. It should be noted what lives in these settlements. Sheep part. About three quarters. Of the general population of the commune. Is a part of the commune of Dendermond since 1971, at the time I had 2900 inhabitants. The church located in this settlement street. Apollinaria is known as the place of a pilgrimage. It is located on the right coast of Scheldt, between the settlement of Sconard and the center of Dendermond. With the opposite coast of Scheldt belonging to Burler's commune, Apples is connected by the pedestrian and bicycle ferry. St. Pilus by Dendermond, the biggest of the Dendermond settlements, is a part of the commune of Dendermond since 1971, at the time I had inhabitants. It is located to the south from the center of Dendermond, borders on Lebex commune. In St. Pilus there is a stopping point, platform, on the railway line Dendermond, Brussels. St. Gillis first of all is known thanks to the annual flowers parade. Bloemen Corso or Bloemen Stoke. Which is held at the beginning of September. During the parade on streets of the settlement take the vehicles decorated with the figures made of flowers. In St. Gillis the movie theater. Cinema Albert. Only in the commune of Tendermond and, probably, the oldest in Belgium is located. Works since 1914. Boss Road is located on the right coast of Scheldt. Is a part of the commune of Tendermond since 1977, at the time I had 6352 inhabitants. The settlement borders on the commune Sintemans, which is a part of the province Antwerp. In last Boss Road was the settlement of shipbuilders, but up to now from the former shipbuilding industry there was only a museum of river navigation. Two lands of the settlement carry also a pole de Vlasenbrück on the edge of whom the picturesque village of the same name numbering only about 20 houses is located. In Basroda there is a stopping point. Platform. On the railway line of Ghent Dendermond Mechelen and also the main station of the Museum Railroad Dendermond Piers. This road connects the ferry for pedestrians and cyclists with other coast of Scheldt. Krembergen, the only settlement located on the left coast of Scheldt is a part of the commune of Dendermond since 1977, at the time I had 6100 inhabitants. Krembergen is connected with the center of Dendermond, the automobile bridge. 
Also in Brambergen there is a railway bridge on the Dendermond Lokeren line, but there is no station in the settlement anymore. It was closed in the 70s. The main attractions of the settlement street. Margaretta's Church. Street. Margaret Ackert. Baroque, the beginning of the 18th century. And the Reserve Crutes Cour. Mespeler is a part of the commune of Tendermond since 1977, at the time had 540 inhabitants. Mespeler is located on the bank of Dander. In the settlement remained. Early Gothic Church of Street. Adagandis Street Adagandis Kirk The 13th century includes earlier Romance elements. Rural House Spanish Yard Sponshof 1643 Pillory 17th century Adagam is a part of the commune of Tendermond since 1977, at the time had 3950 inhabitants. Adagam lies on Danders coast and Scheldt, between the centre of Tendermond and the settlement of Sconard. In Adagam there is a stopping point. Platform. On the railway line of Kent Dendermond Mechelen. Settlement sites. Church of the Mother of God The 13th century With an early Gothic tower and two ancient estates Klosterhoeve and Bockenhof, both of the 18th century In Aldeham the large paper mill is located Schoenard is a part of the commune of Tendermond since 1977, at the time had 2190 inhabitants Conrad is located on the right coast of Scheldt, with the left coast relating to the commune Berlair, he is connected by the automobile bridge. In the settlement there is a station on the railway line of Kent Dendermond Mechelen. The general population of the commune minus 43347 people, 48.82% make of them the men and 51.18% women. Population density makes 779 inhabitants slash square. Came. Distribution of inhabitants on age groups. 0, 17 years. 19.03%. 18, 64 years. 62.94%. 65 years are also more senior. 18.03% Unemployment rate is 8.24% All figures as of January 1, 2006. Tendermond is located in the middle of a triangle of Antwerp Ghent Brussels that is it by the large transport hub. Through Dendermond there passes the railway line Mechelen-Ghent. Also by the railroad Dendermond it is connected with Brussels and Lokeren. In Lokeren a change on the train to Antwerp is possible. Dendermond is connected by highways of the class N. The maximum speed of the movement minus 90. With Brussels. Road and eleven Alsty and sixty Ghent and sixteen Tlokareni and two hundred fifty seven Saint Nicholas and sixty and Villebrick and sixteen
in Dendermond, four bridges to shelter located. Three automobile. Two in the city of Dendermond and one in the settlement of Sconard. And one railway. In the city of Dendermond. Besides, free ferries through shelter for pedestrians and cyclists work in the settlements of Apples and Busroda. Now planning of construction of the mooring for yachts is conducted. In the city of Dendermond educational institutions which services not only residents and communes of Dendermond, but also inhabitants of the neighboring communes user located. There are four large high schools, from them two technical. Three of technicians to Chow Conning Click and Technish Athenum. And two humanitarian and classical. Helijmog College and St. Vincentiums. And also a large number of elementary schools. Besides, in the city there is an art school known as Conning Click Academy for D. Schoen Kunsten. Royal Academy of Fine Arts. In Dendermond, the large hospital. St. Placius Algamine Zikanhis. And District Court are also located. Below sites of the city of Dendermond are described. Sites of the settlements which are a part of the city are specified in the sections devoted to these settlements. Construction of this building was begun in 1336 and completed in 1350. Later to the building of Claw Franks, the Tower of City Council was attached. Construction is begun in 1377, is complete one year later. Then the building of the Claw Franks, which subsequently became a city town hall, was repeatedly reconstructed. At the end of the 19th century, restoration of a town hall was made. At the same time, the architect directing restoration works tried to return the building to initial Gothic forms. In niches on a facade of the building, the near Gothic statues representing patron saints of the city and medieval masters of Dendermond were placed. On a porch of a town hall, two lions holding boards with a municipal coat of arms were established. One of them was destroyed in 1934 after a specially emotional meeting of city council. After him replaced with the copy. Originally the sculptor O. Maz was the author of Lions, the sculptor Joe's D. Decker became the author of the copy of the destroyed lion. The town hall which burned down during World War I was restored after her termination, at the same time to a town hall the new wing in neo-gothic style was attached. Now the town hall combines administrative and museum functions. Here the rich collection of paintings of the Dendermine School of Painting is placed, and in the special hall almost daily there take place meetings of city council. Since 1999 the town hall tower, only a tower, was included in the UNESCO World Cultural Heritage List together with 32 other Ratushni towers and a Befru of Belgium. The town hall is available to visit on the working days from 10 to 12 and from 14 to 16 o'clock, on Sundays and holidays, from 10 to 12 and with 14 till 16.30. Since Easter and prior to the beginning of September and also during a school break and on Saturdays, with 10 to 12 and with 14 till 16.30. Free entrance. Excursions for groups according to the preliminary arrangement phone. O fifty two. Large market. Road mark. The main square of the city. Here concerts and representations under the open sky are arranged. On Mondays large market is used directly. 
the market is framed with houses in style of neo-baroque. He took such form during carried out the ambassador of World War I of reconstruction of the houses surrounding him. In large market Dimitas, Vlichu is located. This Gothic building was built in 1462 by January Getigam as the building of Guild of Butchers. Now in the meat house, the museum of old times, a tides moose, is located. Here it is possible to see archaeological collections, ancient documents, ancient called both the firearms and other exhibits concerning the history of the city. Perhaps, the most interesting exhibit of the museum is the skeleton of a mammoth, age about 28,000 years. He is known as the oldest resident. The museum is open during the period from April 1 to October 31, from 9.30 till 12.30 and 13.30 till 18 o'clock. Free entrance. In close proximity to large market, the building of district court is located. It is constructed in 1924. Other interesting building near large market is the house in style of the French near Renaissance No. 2022 on Kirkstraat Street. The architect Eugene Duyou. The Gothic church on Zlivrauwerk is located on Kirkstraat Street. Construction of this church was begun in the 14th century on the place of Romance Church. The church has the form of a Latin cross. In church there are many objects of religious art, one of the most interesting a Romance baptismal bowl. The 12th century. In a tower of church two medieval bells are suspended. Salvator. Salvator. 300k in Maria. Maria. 2000k. The first yard a beginning in Dendermonde was founded approximately in 1259. His initial arrangement is unknown. On April 7, 1288, Beginki got permission to lodge near St. Gillis Strat Street where it was based, remained still. To the second half of the 16th century, the period of prosperity of the Yard of Beginnick proceeded, however, in 1579 he underwent Jizami's ruin, at the same time, the church and many houses were burned. In the 17th century, the Yard of Beginnick was restored. The quantity of Beginnick grew from 25 in 1610 to nearly 250 in 1691. In 1797, the Yard de Beginnick stopped the existence of spiritual community. Beginki were obliged to wear secular clothes, and their property was seized in favor of the state. However, in 1800, the community A Beginnick revived. During the period between 1843 and 1847, the population of the Yard de Beginnick made 76 Beginnick. Within the 19th century, their number continued to decrease. Paulina Danis was the last Beginka. She died in 1973 at the age of 104 years. Now the Yard of Beginnick is the open rectangular space from all directions surrounded with houses, total number minus 61, the most part from which belongs to the 17th century. It is possible to get to the Yard of Beginnick through gate from Braselsestrad Street. In the middle of the Yard, the Nieczewski Church constructed in 1928 instead of the church destroyed in the years of World War I is located. The architect of present church, Maurice Vossert. Houses of the Yard of Beginnick belong to the city and are rented. And how snow? 
11 where there lived the last Beginka, since 1980 the museum is placed. Later house no. 25 was also transferred to the museum. The area of the yard a beginning is 2 hectares. Street. Gillis's Church. Is located at Heroes Held in Plain Cold So in honor of the Belgian soldiers defending the city during World War I. In 1924, the monument was placed into the square. The architect Y. Van der Tue Velda. The sculptor Geo Verbink. The teacher of City School of Fine Arts. The present Baroque church was constructed in 1780. On the façade which is going outside Brasselsa struck two coats of arms, one of them located on the right. The coat of arms of the Pope Pius X during which pontificate the church was restored or placed. In 1912 under the leadership of the architect V. Warwick. The church has interesting furniture, in particular, four confessionals in Louis XV style. The church is attached to the tower relating to the 14th-15th century. Nowadays existing operating abbey. Monastery. Of monks Benedictines was founded in 1837. It was placed in rooms of the former monastery of Capuchins. Operating during the period between 1596 and 1797. At the beginning of the 20th century of the building of Abbey were completely reconstructed in style of the near Renaissance according to plans of the architect Tuvan Asti. In 1902 the new Neo-Gothic church was constructed. During World War I the Abbey was very strongly damaged. The rich collections of religious art stored in Abbey died. Restoration began in 1919. By 1930 the church was restored. In 1939 the church received the status of a basilica. Premises of Abbey are available to visit by public only once a year, on a Pentecost within four hours. From 14 to 18 o'clock. The church is open for visitors all the year round. Zwifka Museum is located in the building of the former abbey from which he also inherited the name. It was founded on this place in 1690 and stopped the existence at the time of Napoleon, on January 27, 1797, during lay cessation of church property. The remains of Abbey received the status of a monument of history in 1957. Now in the Museum Archaeological Collections and also Library of Local History Society, archive of photos and slides and ordinary archive are located. From the very beginning of the history Dendermond I was the fortified city. In 1200 it was surrounded with city walls. Despite numerous modernizations, by the end of the 18th century they hopelessly became outdated and were demolished by order of the Emperor Joseph II. However, after Napoleon's falling around Dendermonde the system of defensive works was built again. It consisted of 11 bastions and 6 ravelins. B-sides in the city barracks, arsenals, etc. were built. It was possible to get to the city or on the bridge through Scheldt or through some of city gate. Rixellus or Mechelen. Only after World War I of Tendermond stopped being the fortified city. 
the former defensive works became a green zone. Now it consists of two parts, the city park, the entrance to which is framed with the Bruxelles Gate, and the so-called Bruxelles Forts. Bruxelles Forten. The defensive ditch turned into the lake framed with paths for slow shirking. In the city several ancient barracks remained. Except above mentioned, in the city there are and many other architectural constructions which though don't deserve the separate description, but are pleasing to the eye and are decoration of the city. Streets and squares of the city decorate many monuments and sculptures. Three of them represent the legendary horse giant known as Ross by Art. One sculpture is established at top of a tower of the Palace of Justice, another in the square near the station and the last, the newest. 1995. In the middle of the round intersection. Monuments and sculptures. Monument to the priest Peter January D. Smith is established before Church of the Mother of God, who was engaged in missionary activity among North American Indians. Monument to the artist Franz Cortens. It is established near the Palace of Justice. To the artist, the prominent representative of the Dendermonde School of Painting. Monument to the Queen Astrid. It is established on the avenue of her name, Conning in Astrid Lawn. Monument to the poet Prudence Van Dyes. It is placed into Vlasmark Square. The author of a pedestal, the world famous architect Victor Horta. Sculpture, the slashing fellow with fish. Not Metin Vista of work of the sculptor of Joe's D. Decker on the small square behind a town hall. Sculpture of the dancing children. Dancing Kinderen. Of work of the sculptor of Joe's D. Decker on Paper Mullenstraat Street. Abstract a sculpture of Aunt Pluing and Shelton Dender. At the round intersection of streets of Aude. West and Brasselsestrat and before the automobile bridge through Shell, respectively. Besides, in the city, temporary exhibitions of sculptures will be organized in the open air. During one of them, which was carried out in the summer of 2005, sculptures were established on Old Dender's Water. In Dendermond there is no theater, but visiting troops regularly perform with representations in the Belgica Cultural Center. It is said as Belgica, which is located at the beginning of Kirkstraat Street, two steps away from Large Market, the central square of the city. Also here musical concerts are held, literary stories are given and displays of not Massachusetts cinema are carried up. Besides, here regularly there take place special cultural events for school students. The most important informal symbol of the city, a horse giant of Bayer Dues and the Four of Knights sitting on him, the hero of an ancient legend which action was partially developed in Dendermond. Today Bayer Dues is an integral part of a city landscape of Dendermond. Three Monuments plus one more established instead of a spike on a roof of the Palace of Justice. Are devoted to him, on a wall of one of houses there is a relief with his image, the drawing of by our deduce can be seen on signs of shops. The most important folklore holiday of the city, a procession of Ross by our Armageng. Earlier Ross by Aadama Gang was organized irregularly, but since 1990 it is carried out every 10 years. During the procession along city streets carry the huge figure of a horse consisting of the wooden framework fitted by skin. Astride a horse four boys dressed in a knightly armor sit. 
By rules they have to be brothers. The procession reminds of an ancient legend of a game giant which was so strong that could carry on itself four brothers nights. During the procession the anthem of the city is executed. Only music. The exact time of emergence of tradition of Ross by Ar Damagang is unknown. The first mentions of city festive processions belong to 1377, however it is unknown whether took in them part of Bayard Dues. The first mention of Ross by Ar belongs to 1461. This folklore holiday concedes to Ross by Ar procession along splendor a little, but is arranged ten times more often than is annually in August. The main heroes of a procession, huge figures. Giants, Rusengang in translation in Netherlands means a procession of giants. In total three giants, Indian, Indian, Mars, Mars, and Goliath, Goliath, participate in a procession. They consist, as well as pyre dues, of the wooden framework fitted by skin. Well so far. Write comments. Read comments. Interesting people, will tell interesting stories. All of good mood and good luck.